Hi, so what's happening here? Well, I'm standing in front of a vegetable bed in my garden, in front of a tomato plant along with pumpkin and a whole lot of potatoes that grew out of almost nothing. I never planted them this time. I, I had planted them four years ago and they kept on replanting themselves without any attendance from me on this bed and competing with the weeds and everything and this time when I cleared the weeds and cleared the ground and planted some more vegetables the potatoes came back up so I didn't have a heart to kill them they are so hardy and so trustworthy and so diligent that let them grow more potatoes here behind me another potato bed I have five potato beds not counting these uh, this uh, unplanned ones but that's not what I came here to talk uh, this is about the lockdown and the destruction of our freedom and economy and way of life and our need to protest my need to protest I, I don't care whether others are doing so or not but I understand that this is a <coughs> global problem and I would like to stay in touch with more people around the world who have uh, who have the same view as our, ourselves or as myself and they are trying to do within their capacity whatever they can in different parts of the world so to start with in british columbia i have attended multiple protest marches in uh, downtown vancouver uh, along with pietro and uh, susan and I have also attended twice on Saturdays in Surrey, BC. I intend to look further. There, there is one going on in Vernon, which is like four hours away by drive. And in Kelowna, also almost uh, equal distance. Uh, those are a bit further away. Victoria is uh, a boat ride away and a whole day affair to go and come back. Uh, there is also one in Abbotsford, which is about, about an hour away. I'm thinking of going there to meet some new faces and new people and, and uh, reconnect with more folks in the same, in the same uh, struggle. But going further afield, I'm, talking, I'm going to be talking to a friend in Australia. Uh, she is almost 15 hours ahead of us uh, and they are also engaged in uh, protest against uh, forced vaccination and so on. So, uh, I intend to check up with her as time permits and, and also looking to make contact with uh, like-minded folks in maybe UK and uh, elsewhere in Europe. And there are also lots of people uh, in the rest of Canada outside of BC. Uh, what's going on in Manitoba is horrible because uh, uh, in Winnipeg, the, the people who protested are being, I believe, are being threatened. Uh, by by officials coming to their home and giving papers of warning uh, and that they will be if they, if they again congregate and stay closer than uh, six feet and, and don't wear masks and so on they will be fined and given a 200 or 250 thousand dollar or 40 thousand or whatever huge number of uh, huge amount of uh, fine uh, for uh, breaking the law and so on I find this absolutely horrible gestapo style if i am served with such uh, such uh, fines i shall publicly burn them because it's a, it's an illegal law and when you are faced with an unjust law it becomes our duty to 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 defy it and i'm willing to go to jail I, I, they will have to pin me down because i need to show my disobedience to that law and then i'm willing to go to jail i'm willing to die i mean they can shoot me down as a you know, as a execution uh, because of not following the rule. But I would rather die a free man on my feet than live like a slave, where you cannot protest. I mean, this is this is this is too much. So, anyway, I am in the effort and quest for meeting up more people who understand that it is not COVID, but our freedom that is at stake. I mean. Our freedom is at stake, not our health, not our well-being. Our freedom, our liberty, our right to live 
the life that we choose and in pursuit of happiness, all that is going to be sacrificed on a fake pandemic. That's my take for the day. And this is Tony Mitra. And here I am with a plastic fork. This is not for eating. This is for shoving it in the ground. Why? Because raccoons are everywhere and they like to, you know, dig up the, ground, the soft, moist soil and, and look for worms to eat and in the process muck up uh, your vegetable bed and so on. They are part of nature. I don't want to kill them. I don't want to poison them. I don't want to trap them and hurt them. But I want to discourage them and I found out sticking the forks with the pointy ends up discourages them because their paws get into it and they leave it alone. And then you can buy a box of uh, these plastic forks or just a dollar or two and, and you can have four or five boxes and stick them everywhere and then at the end of the season you pick them up, wash them and put them off, put it up in a bag for use next year. So that's what these are for and that's me done my talking for the day. Thank you.